Welcome back to my Karate Kid slash Cobra Kai video series. This time, instead of just news or singing the series' praises, I want to address something that has never made sense to me in all the years I've been enjoying Karate Kid 2. And don't get me wrong, I truly love this film. But nothing is perfect, and this movie has one big flaw that's always kind of made me chuckle, and I thought it'd be kind of fun to share it here with you. The drum technique. Now, the technique itself isn't a problem, nor is the backstory. Apparently, Miyagi's ancestor got drunk on a fishing trip, and strong wind, strong Usaki got caught up in a storm and ended up on the coast of China. Apparently, he stayed in China for about 10 years learning martial arts and marrying Chinese ladies, and came back to Okinawa with this drum, the secret to Miyagi family karate. As the movie goes on, we learn more about the technique. Best block no be there, which essentially means shift to one side and evade your opponent's attack, and then whack them with the opposite fist. Alright, cool, no problems there. And not only that, it proves that the Miyagi family actually invented the pimp slap. Anyway, so Daniel and Chozen are facing off in the final scene, and it's not looking good for our hero. He tries the crane kick, but Chozen neither seen that before, or, not knowing what the hell Daniel was doing, fainted like this, <laughs> and just a side note, how Daniel isn't walking on a cane in the Cobra Kai series is beyond me. A testament to the power of Miyagi brand new foot powder. Smells like old foot powder. What's in there? Anyway, so Daniel's son is about to, well, be murdered. And so Miyagi takes out his drum and he begins playing it to remind Daniel to focus and trust in his training with the drum technique. Good so far. Sato then does the same, which makes sense because he was also trained in Miyagi-Do. And then something really weird happens. Literally everyone in the village pulls out a drum and does the same thing. Which not only demoralizes Chosen, but also allows Daniel to charge up his ultimate pimp slap technique. Which apparently he forgot before fighting Mike Barnes later. And that's a shame because it really would have helped. So my question is, how does everyone in Tomi Village know this secret Miyagi drum technique? And why does everyone in this village have a Chinese drum? If everyone, including Sato, knew this technique, why didn't Chosen? So you're telling me Miyagi Sr. just walked around this village, first making everyone promise never to teach Sato's nephew this technique, but then going ahead and teaching everyone else? Well, why wouldn't Chosen's friends at least tell him? Heck, it's likely Sato would have taught it to Chosen. If for no other reason, if there was ever a showdown with Miyagi, it'd be kind of an insult getting beaten with your own technique. It's just never made sense to me that literally everyone in the village and Sato would know this secret drum technique and have all these weird Chinese drums laying around and Chosen would have never heard of it. I know, it's a petty thing to dwell on and I love the scene where it all comes together and Daniel just repeatedly smacks Chosen around with his super tough guy face on. Again, I love this movie, but it's always made me laugh too when I inevitably have to say out loud, oh, so now everyone knows how to do this but Chosen. Thanks for watching, guys. And please remember to like this video and subscribe for more weird autistic takes on great films. And if you have any better explanation for what we just talked about, I would love to hear it in the comments below.